good. Uh oh. I have some. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. We are on a birthday backpack for my sister. It is her 60th birthday. So we're hiking up to an old friend, Camp Handy, along the Dungeness River. And uh, it's misty, kind of rainy. We expect rain for most of the day. Tomorrow is supposed to be off and on. But uh, it's going to be a, a fun weekend, even if I have to stay in my tent to avoid the rain. We've been on this trail before, back uh, in October of 2019. And I'll go ahead and link the, the video from that up there or down below or wherever that gets me wherever I remember to post it. And uh, just over here for overnight, it's a shakedown ba uh, backpack to see how out of shape we really got this past winter. Drippy here, drippy there. We've had, you know, some uh, sun's trying to get through the clouds right now. We'll see if that happens because the mist is just drifting over the trees. And I just love watching the mist drift over the trees. Uh, it's misting right now and I'm actually going to go up the trail a little bit from camp to a scene I had noticed back in uh, October of 2019 and uh, see if I can capture that. And uh, other than that, just, just a really good day so far, really good weekend. Uh, when we came into camp, as we started walking through Camp, uh, camp Handy here, it's really large. And um, our friend Becky had, and her husband had gotten here the night before. So they had decorated some of the trees and uh, the shelter, just kind of helping us find our way back to where they found found a camp place to camp. So we've got camp all set up. Um, we also took down the decorations because leave no trace. And um, right, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go up the trail a little bit, see if I can find this photo and warm up because my toes are cold. <laughs> We 
We're hiking along, and I, I just stopped. Um, Pacific Northwest, especially the Olympic Forest, is famous for the rhododendrons. And in about two months, this rhododendron that's in front of me is going to be absolutely gorgeous with big pink flowers on the ends of each of those limbs that's going off. And one of the reasons I love the rhododendron is just, it is, to me, the definition of wilderness and the wild. So I, I stopped, and the way the light was coming in, there's just enough light to highlight the branches as they're all gnarled together. And um, wow, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So um, trying an F9, uh, it might be, because there's a bit of distance between me and the back of the tree, back of the bush, and I don't want to get the trees in the background which are going straight up and down which is a really nice contrast to the gnarled branches of the roadie so uh, I'm going to try that I might open up a little bit but it gives me a six point uh, six seconds at ISO 100 I'm zoomed all the way out I've got a polarizer on because I've got quite a bit of glare on those wet leaves and yeah it's just absolutely beautiful don't you think it's beautiful too? Isn't that gorgeous? I saw about a year and a half ago and it's just moss covered rocks you look behind me and there's some patches of snow and this little stream that comes through it and it's just so beautiful and picturesque it's almost like like a fairy wonderland so I'm gonna take a couple images here mainly I'm getting my camera down low and I've got about an f11 and so I've got some decent depth of field I don't mind if some of it's blurry and the way back or in the front that's not a problem with me i just trying to get the feel of the softness and that's what i'm looking for some softness so i'm not expecting solid depth of field all the way through my image but getting down low getting close to the water opening up my zoom lens to the widest point and getting some really nice images um I, now i'm looking at um some really beautiful curves through the trees and the moss. I'm going to have to get that one too. But it's just a lovely, lovely little glen here and I, it's, it's perfectly picturesque. out? I don't think so. I think, it's supposed to go, I, I think it goes out on its own. Okay.
still cold. Got up to no rain, some sunlight streaming through the trees, and big smiling faces. It was a it was a nice night. The river just lullabied us to sleep and kept us asleep all night. Some drops rain fell in the night, but not much. And now we're we're hiking out to this gorgeous forest again light streaming through the forest and I think it's a pretty good backpack on my sister so let's go ahead and head on out and uh, see what the day has to offer